Hey, it's your boy Tuck Taylor. We are on the way to meet Logan. He is the honoree for our fifth annual Beast Battling Against Cancer charity workout. We're going to get to know him and his family a little bit better, kind of get some of their background story on when they found out about his diagnosis. I'm um, sure it's going to be awesome. I, I love this part of the year, this time of year, where we get to do our charity events. Uh, the community and the Beast community especially comes out. Uh, and really does a good job of helping us raise money and decorate the gym and uh, pull from different resources to help make sure this is a special day for our special honoree. Go ahead and uh, yeah, give us some background on uh, what type of cancer he has and kind of when you guys found out about the diagnosis and kind of what his status is currently. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, it was actually the end of baseball season, mm -hmm. and my oldest was in tournaments, and he spiked the fever that weekend. And you don't think much about fever at all. Um, it just wouldn't go away. The Tylenol Motrin wasn't helping, so we were in and out of the doctor for a week. And they just kept telling me it was a virus, it has to run its course, blah, blah, blah. But his fevers are 104.5, mm -hmm. over 105. and we went Friday and I demanded to have blood work done. I said, there's something going on and if this is bacterial, you know, that could kill them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had to push to have this done. They did that and they did a chest x-ray. So that was done in the morning. We go all day long, no response from the doctor. So usually they tell you if you don't hear from them, everything's normal. Well, that Saturday morning he woke up, it was 105.3. And I'm like, we're going to the hospital. I said, there's something definitely wrong they're missing it blah 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 so we're all getting ready and the doctor's office calls me and she said you need to get going you need to go right now and I'm like we are we're on our way now she wouldn't tell me anything other than his white cells were bad she said mm -hmm. why didn't you go yesterday I said because no one called me to tell me there was anything wrong so you know I I didn't know to go long story short we go down to all children's and we go in, the guy's telling me it's viral, let it run its course. And I said, no, there's something else. He's mm -hmm. like, well, if, we want, if you want us to run the blood work again, we'll do that. But you're going to be going home today. There's nothing wrong. So he said, 45 minutes, we'll go back. It was two and a half hours later, five people come walk in the door, and you just know. Mm -hmm. Like, my heart sank. You just knew there was something, mm -hmm. something very, very bad. And then they took me out, and then they told me he had AL leukemia. Well, they, they just said it was leukemia, and then mm -hmm. it was later on, I think it was the next day, they said what type, the AL leukemia. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness, it's after all of it happened. Um, it, it's like everything snowballed, because it wasn't long after we get home and things start calming down with the hospital, then our house gets broken into and they robbed us blind mm -hmm. and they ransacked my oh, house. Man. They took the TV. Um, but Pinellas Park, they were so wonderful. The, the police, they came and got the kids a new Xbox, got mm -hmm. them new games, got them new controllers, got awesome. us a new TV. Awesome, awesome. Um, and then it was another couple weeks after that that my job started the him behind and giving me grief about going all the time. And I was like, go. Mm. So I was at work from, it, I got my last paycheck in September. And mm. it's just wonderful people that we've had has helped us get through all of this. Mm. Um, so financially, I'm like ruined. My credit's gone because I couldn't pay my bills. And every time I turn around, I'm getting another letter that something was taken away or credit limits cut. Um, Finding a job was impossible. Mm -hmm. You're constantly getting a fever. Mm -hmm. And when it gets high, you have to take them Absolutely, out. Absolutely, right. And so we were always... They, um, at first, they told me he was going to have to skip a year mm -hmm. or just be homeschooled. And I said, well, if he can do it, I want him to go to school. I said, he's going to beat all those odds that you're telling me that he can't go. And you're going to tell me that when it's time that he can go. And sure enough, they said... Boom. He's good. He's good. Go. good. Yeah. Almost been a year. Almost been a year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know they hospitalized you right there and then, mm -hmm. and we were there for two weeks. Gotcha. And um, it was just 
devastating trying to take care of these other two because we have no family here. I had no one to help me. Mm -hmm. I have dogs. I mean, your whole life just shuts down right, and right, right. changes in a heartbeat. So, you know, I have to come home. I had to barricade a wall here to keep the dogs in the kitchen for you know, if they have accidents because I had to be there with him and just arranging with everybody. The baseball team we had that year just rallied around us like a family and you know, help take care of the dogs, help me take care of these two, getting them back and forth to school, because mm -hmm. school is still in, and it was just, <laughs> oh my God, I'm telling you, the neighbors mm -hmm. all helped us, mm -hmm. and... That's awesome. What's up, buddy? This is Evan. Hey, I'm Tuck Taylor. Give me two taps right here. Tap, tap. I want to uh, <laughs> host an event for you, you guys and your brother at my gym. So we're gonna raise some money, have a good time, have some people come for out, me. and uh, yeah, for you, <laughs> yeah, for you, but for you. We're gonna take care of your brothers too, man, because everybody's had to support you and do all good stuff for you. So we're gonna make sure these guys have a good time too, right? Right? Tell them, man. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> well, we haven't had any fundraising ever. I mean, we had. We used to play at Fossil Park, and I knew one of the nurses that worked at All Children's, and she knows other cancer families. Mm -hmm. And she got together with somebody else who, it was over Christmas, and they had a little picnic and stuff, and did a little thing there. Mm -hmm. And then um, Doug Wachter, he announces for the Rays. Mama. He usually does after the games. Mm -hmm. He's a coach over there, and he got his... Um, where he works, he got them together and they raised us some money too. Oh, good. So oh, that's good. pretty much all that's happened. I see all this stuff all the time. And, oh, I know. <laughs> what position do you play in baseball? Oh, 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 oh. He's in T-ball. Okay. So they rotate gotcha. him on gotcha. everything. Nice, nice, nice. Yep. Any, you got any favorite football players? Uh, or all of them? <laughs> all of them. All of them. This kid shows a lot of love, man. He's like, I'm not going to pick one person. I like everybody, man. I want to play yeah. football and baseball. I'm not picking. Just play his phone. That's awesome. Ryan, what, do you, what do you like, bro? He just plays some hmm. Sports. What sports do you watch? Football, baseball, and that's it. Um, And uh, who's your favorite football, baseball player? My, my favorite football player is... Um, Peyton Manning, and True. my favorite baseball players, Evan Longoria, Kevin Kiermaier, that's it. That's it. What about you, bro? Longo, Josh Donaldson, Batista, Manning, Demarius Thomas. Oh my god! That's it. So you guys don't watch that basketball at all, huh? People show me a lot of love. <laughs> we, should, we should combine our forces, and I'll get so much more love. Want to do it? Let's do it, man. So now my people show you love, and your people show me love, and now it's more, more love we're all getting. You down for that? Let's do it. I like this kid, man. I like this kid, man. We just got to meet Logan, his brother Ryan, his brother Evan, and his mom Debbie. Uh, just great, great, great family. Um, definitely, I got a little emotional a little bit while she was talking about uh, some of the trials and tribulations they had to go through with uh, the whole ordeal of him having leukemia, her losing her job, and them getting robbed during the whole process. So it was definitely, uh, uh, had a lot of empathy and sympathy for their situation, So which amps me up more to make sure we go out and really do good for this family. Um, just really excited for the event. Make sure you guys come out. It's July 29th here at Beast Athletics Clearwater. We're going to sweat for a great cause, baby. Let's do it.